So let's elaborate what is MTDR. An MTDR volume is the first created when a pod is assigned to a node and exists as long as the pod is running on that node. When a pod is removed from a node for any reason, the data in the MTDR is deleted permanently. As the name says, the MTDR volume is initially empty. All the container in the pod can read and write the same file in the MTDR volume, though that volume can be mounted at the same or different path in the container. In simple word, we can say that a single volume will be shared with multiple containers which are created inside the pod. In addition to this, we can mount on different directory in the containers with this volume. Kubernetes will create a random directory on the node for the pod. So this is our node and this is our MTDR. So MTDR directory will be created inside the RAM or inside the hard disk like this. So how we can create this first? This is the simple pod YAML file. The first one is kind equal to pod. The name of this pod is empty pod. Namespace is core. It means this pod will be created inside the core namespace. Name of the container would be empty dr container one. And please bear in mind that the value comes inside the container section. We use nginx image here. Kindly observe that both the name and images parameters have same indentation. And this is our container section. When we add the empty DR volume, I have changed the container name and port name from one to two. Under the spec section, we created a new section for volume. Inside this, first we add the name of this volume. That is vol1 empty DR. Further, we have to add more parameter in, and then empty DR and the limit size is 500 megabits. You can add whatever you want. Further, we have added some more parameter inside the container section. Here, the parameters are volume mount. Inside this volume mount, we have add mount path, that is slash cache. Inside the container, we will observe a new directory called slash cache where we can access the volume files and directory and the name is vol1 empty dr and as you can see that both the names are same if the names are different then this directory will not mount you have to mention the name what you have mentioned of the volume because we just instructing our container that to mount this volume and this volume information is here in simple word, we can say that when we use the empty DR volume, Kubernetes will create a directory inside the hard disk or RAM as per the value we have defined. When a container restart, we will not lose the data because this volume is linked with pod. It's a part of The first lab that we are going to perform is MTDR. So let's click here and click on lab MTDR. This is my pod YAML file. Inside this first, I'm going to create one namespace that is core one. And after that, this is my pod YAML file. Here, as you can notice, the name of this volume is vol1 MTDR, same should be here vol1 empty dir and after the empty dir and the size limit is 500 mega nothing more the cache slash cache directory will be available inside this container the name the images we are going to use is nginx so let's copy this yaml file here and go to our master direct server now you can see here that part empty dr it is there Let's create. Let's create this YAML file, these objects, namespace, and pod. After that, we can execute this command 
on which worker node this is created it is created inside this worker node 1 and the IP address of this port is this and it is showing running check on directory on worker node 2 when I executed this command it was spawned, it was created on worker node 2 but this time it is created on worker node 1 so let me log in into this worker node 1 now I have login into my worker node 1 so let me log in inside this pod and I should see slash cache directory ctl minus and core 1 and then first I'm going to use exec and hyphen it and then port name mtdr hyphen hyphen bin bash if I execute df space minus h now I can see slash cache directory is created if I go to this directory I can also go to this directory here and what my lab says let's create one directory here so I'm just going to use this command first line updated from the container I can see this file here yes describe the port to know the worker node 2 path here in this lab we are going to check the UID of this port so we can use this command on the master server let me exit from this port and then get minus o yaml if we scroll up we can see uid number is this as this port is created on worker node 1 so i need to log in into my worker node 1 here and then go to where lib kubelet and ports if i do ls space ltr i can see the uid number if i scroll up this is my uid number so this is 48 de so 48 de this one i need to go to into this directory in worker node 1 if i want to see where this mtdr is created if i do again ls space ltr i need to go to volume and then again ls space ltr now i can see this mtdr so let's go inside this mtdr and inside this vol1 dir so this is the name of our volume let me show you here vol1 mtdir this is the volume mount that we created so it is created inside now if i go inside this mtdir this vol1 i can see my file i can also update this file from the worker node 2 so let me check if i have added here or not let's where lib here it says i need to go to where lib kubelet ports and now go to volume blah 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 so i can see this file here so let me add one new line here from the work i am here in the worker node 1 i'm just adding here second line updated from updated from second line updated from worker node 1 and add it in this file am i able to open this file yes i have the privileges let me go to the container sorry pod here go to slash cache and check if this file is updated or not yes this file is updated the bad thing is that using mtdir when we delete the pod this file will also be deleted let's see if it's if this is the case or not so for that reason i'm just outside from here so I'm, let me go inside this where lab kubelet pods let me do ls space ltr so this 48 de is the my pod uid number so let me delete this pod here let me exit first here and then cube delete pod minus n core 1 empty dr after deleting this pod i should not see this yes as you can see here this directory is removed 
so if this directory is removed so inside all the files also deleted but yes this is good for the testing purpose this is lab is just for process id here i'm going inside this and i don't see anything here okay so the bad thing is that if pod is removed directory will be also removed okay so let me go to my root directory here and delete this file minus f pod okay so this is my empty dr lab